Hey everybody, it's Moody here. It's April 10th, 2010. This is my stepdad, Lanny. Where are we going today, Lanny? We are going to Shiloh National Military Park in Savannah, Tennessee. And they're having the annual anniversary of the 148th Living History Demonstration with the reenactments. And we look forward to having a good time. And we're heading off with Moody and some of our friends. See y'all later. Paying a $5 if you pay a $5. What do you expect to come to the park for free? I can't, I can't believe it. Well, you can maybe park all the way over here now. Yep, yeah, we're getting here late. First time we ever had park over here. So, First time park. ever. That's usually until we're here at 9 o'clock. Hey, what cut? Hey, it's orange. Well, Roy, you'll get four or five calls, then. Barry will get 15, I'll get three. Okay, as you look off to your right, you'll see the entry has formed done. Now this is something you may see at start of battle. Now the infantry is the main arm of the army. Eighty percent of the army was infantry. Now these armies were moving in large amounts. Here at the Battle of Shiloh, the Northern Army had over thirty had over uh, and that flag will be the red It'll be a blue field in the corner. It'll be white, and across the end of the flag will be a red stripe. And that'll be the last national flag for the Confederacy. Now, a lot of folks see the battle flag was used by certain units and think that's the national flag. That's not the national flag of the Confederacy. That's a battle flag that was used in the Eastern Theater and Western Theater of the Civil War. Gates, two to four quarters to an army. <clears throat> so you can see these armies were large as they moved into the field. Let's move down. Let's move down. Now it's nice and quiet this morning. We're putting artillery across that field at the split rail fence. You saw the smoke and the power of artillery. And when it was fired, imagine what you would have left those lines standing there shoulder to shoulder, two lines deep. You can see the huge holes that have been ripped apart. Take there and put them into those trees you see off the left hand side. And then see how difficult it for the unit to move around. The hornet's nest is at the top of the hill that you see directly across the podium. The northern soldiers in the Sunken Road area were two, running along behind the split rail fence all the way in that direction. As the, as the Confederate infantry was trying to move to the hornet's nest in this type of situation, they still drilling and moving around one place to place. You can imagine how disoriented they got up there. Well, you want these, this group to stay together and move as, as a group, as one. Guy next to you, you your shoulder to shoulder, you can feel your shoulder to skin, and you're moving with him. You're also in step with the rest of the group as you come forward. This is keep everybody in line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 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 brown check. The 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 brown had his mark one devil, 26 out of nine.
There's here. a couple that do that, but uh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, I know what they call it. That's the best for us, Renner. Your name is Ramp. Yeah, they were. That's when they had the fight at the Hornets. Yeah, it was. 